Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are extraordinarily close here. If I can get zoomed in. We are extraordinarily close to being done with our investments. That's very, very good. <laughs> We've been working on this for a long time. There's no doubt about that. We are up over 100 gold per month and this is going absolutely fantastically. We can ransom this prince off and honestly, I'm going to do it. I want that sweet, sweet gold. So there we go. We are looking to get all of this fully maxed out this episode. That's the idea. And I think it's doable. Well, all of our personal castles for sure. <laughs> Maybe not getting all of these fully maxed out, all of these other holdings. We'll have to see how much we end up getting. We need to sell our trivial titles immediately. We got two gold from our cat. And... This guy became our rival, but he also increased his feudal taxes to us and gave us 300 gold. I'll allow it. <laughs> We're going to upgrade our walls and towers here. Excellent. And we do get a new lifestyle perk here. Now, we pretty much need to take Chains of Loyalty or Large Levies. Oh, that's interesting. Learn language is in Chains of Loyalty? I don't know why that would be there, honestly. that That's a little weird. I would expect that to be a learning thing, but whatever. We're going to grab Large Levies for now. <laughs> Sure. So, Baku, we're going to grab homesteads. Wonderful. And I don't really want to upgrade any of these non-personal holdings right now. So, we're just going to continue working on getting all of our personal holdings as maxed out as possible. This is, I believe, our first castle to actually be full-on maxed out. Isn't it? I think so. Cool. Well, it's not full-on maxed out, of course. Maxed out for our current tech level, which will go up, but not for a while. So we've got a lot of barracks building here. And just in general, we're doing a whole lot of building. That's completely expected for this series right now. <laughs> we've been doing this for a while, including back in Imperator. The Roman Kingdom has not managed to put itself back together much. We can extort our subjects, and that's definitely something that we want to do immediately. 500 gold. Cool. So that's, of course, 500 gold that we can immediately spend on upgrading our holdings. We've got one over here. Cool. There we go. And another over here. Walls and towers. Wonderful. Up to 106.4, and you can see that these are upgrading. They're upgrading themselves, and we're very happy about that. So, we need a new Spy Master, and this guy will do. He is our rival, but he doesn't hate us, really. That's not that bad. Baku finishes up, and uh, we'll try to make them see sense. We were actually successful in mediating that. That was a low odds option, but okay, sure. So, we're going to get our economic cap our economic capital cap castle here wow words are very difficult all of a sudden our economic capital castle <laughs> is now maxed out for our tech level so that's very good we can found a holy order but there's no point in doing that right now ah uh, yes this is always tragic mittens is not as young as she once was and as she crawls into my lap i can feel her trembling I gently stroke her gray fur and listen to her purr long into the night. But as silence falls, I know that she won't wake again. We could get a tanned hide of mittens. Uh, that's a little gruesome in my opinion. We're just, we're just going to say I'll miss you mittens. I'll miss you. It's always tragic when your pet dies in Crusader Kings. <laughs> oh, that's rough. That is rough. Okay, so we're going to continue to get some upgrades going here. And we are going to build some barracks. There we go. Distrust of friendship here. Okay, so anxiety knots my stomach as jealousy rears its ugly head. I sigh and glare at the cause of my misery. I know I ought to be thankful that our guest Mikhail appears to get along well with Alex, but there is something in how the two interact that worries me. The smiles are of the kind that lifelong friends, or 
devoted lovers share. They unabashedly act as if they're the only ones in the room, blithely leaving me out of their conversations. Just what is their relationship? Should I do something about it? So, this is our 37-year-old daughter and a 17-year-old guest. Hmm. I mean, we probably shouldn't allow that to happen. Fifty-eight percent, huh? Yikes. We could just kick him out, but we'd lose six court grandeur for that. One third, one third, one third. Mm. We'll try to put a stop to it, but yeah, I'm not surprised. Those odds weren't great. <laughs> that was pretty much the way it was going to be. Okay, so that is fine. Stone barracks have been constructed, and yeah, let's stop being... Let's stop being rivals with our spy master. I'm completely okay with that. And he died. He just instantly died. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll put this guy in. He's not as good, but he'll do the job. Okay. We just keep finishing up these barracks and queuing up more. Sure, he'll attend. That's uh, no problem. I would like to see more of these upgrading. Hmm. You have another Eurydice? Okay, we'll take her at her word. Cool. So, let's take a look at what we've got on here. So, we've got the Morsel of St. David, we've got the Fine Warhammer, and the Old Ledger. We're lacking armor, regalia, and a crown. We get a stewardship lifestyle perk. This guy's not going to give us 50 gold. I'm upset at him. And we're going to grab for now, I think, Chains of Loyalty. There we go. Lots of constructions finishing up. And that's excellent. We could found a holy order, but uh, we're not going to. We are, of course, instead going to upgrade some buildings. So Parnes is now done with its upgrades. That's wonderful. The Sarkis Dynasty banner was destroyed. Yep, that was to be expected. We'll go ahead and upgrade our barracks here. And in our capital, we are going to need levying grounds. There we go. So we're not really making too much more cash right now. What we're focusing on at the moment is increasing our soldier count, and that is coming up dramatically. There's no doubt about it. So we're going to grab ourselves military camps here. And on the month tick, we're also going to be able to build training fields. Now, this is the last construction for this castle. So that is very, very good. Okay. I was hoping that we would see more of these upgrading to level 2. I mean, a lot of them have. We didn't upgrade any of these to level 2. Those have all been done by the vassals themselves. Which one? Well, whichever ones are, of course. Level 2. 300 gold? <sighs> we'll go for the enthusiastic one. Okay. Our wife is ailing, and that's a successful treatment. That does drop our domain limit, which is problematic for us. And I'm guessing that is because our wife here... Our wife and rival... She just doesn't have enough stewardship anymore, I think. We're going to divorce her. And we're going to find somebody with more stewardship. Perfect. Literally the only thing we care about here is the stewardship. There we go. Wonderful. So now we've got all of our holdings held. At least, all of our main holdings. There's a couple of castles here that we don't personally hold. There is this castle here and this castle here. But for now, that's all good. Cars is now maxed out. Watch posts have been constructed. Mobile camps have been constructed. Are all of them in our economic duchy? Oh, wait. Hang on a moment. What am I doing? Stop building mobile camps here. This is the economic duchy. Build walls and towers. Thank you very much. Okay. Perfect. Are the rest of these all maxed out? Yes. Okay. Good to know. 
We're getting a lot of these maxed out at this point. Our capital has a little ways to go yet. And, of course, these two castles over here still need work. Water mills, absolutely. Yeah, that'll go in for sure. We do need a new chancellor, and we will put in this gentleman. Devin is now maxed out. No problem there. Maxed, 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 and maxed. So everything over here is now maxed. So it's just these two castles are capital, which is one away from being maxed. And these two are both maxed as well. So it's just these two castles and our capital. Okay. Well, and also getting our bastions and curtain walls, of course, because we just changed that over. We can hold court, and let's go ahead and do so. Could always use the court grandeur. There's going to be three people, as usual. My marshal, Mayor Ashot, and my vassal, Princess Vosgi, stand in front of me, bickering, as usual, about the best politics for our country. War is the only way to make a country rich and powerful, states Ashot assertively. Only in peace can a country grow and prosper, says Vosgi. This time, however, they expect me to take a position. So, uh... Supporting peaceful politics is still going to be what we're interested in for the moment. Okay. I'm faced with Vachagan Aharonians? We'll go with that. <laughs> Sad eyes, which grow larger and more pitiful as his acquaintance Arshak gently ushers him towards my throne. Emperor, he laments, the boy has been at Sita's court with no one to watch over him, so we could adopt him. And that's ten court grandeur, so we'll do so. The next petitioner is an extremely angry Prince Stepanos of Corazon. With the briefest of deference shown, Pr Prince Stepanos relays that some of my knights have passed through the county of Kiva recently. Looted, pillaged, and despoiled. Okay. Well, 300 gold is a lot of compensation. We'll have him return his plunder. There we go. Cool. So. Any of these that aren't level 2. Well, this one's not maxed out for level 2 yet. We'll go ahead and get that started. Farms and fields here will be good. This one is maxed out for level 2. So we need 467 gold here. This guy requests a divorce. I accept. I, I don't really care. We do have a new stewardship perk available, and we could take likable or soon forgiven. We'll take likable for the moment. Excellent. So we need to look through a few more of these for building upgrades. Oh, a king and he's not even bringing us gold? How rude. What a jerk. So we're going to get constructions going where we can over here. Excellent. Mobile camps have been constructed in cars, which is now fully maxed out. Our rival died. Always good. And these constructions are going to be finishing up fairly soon. Ahura Mazda will judge some sinners. That'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure Ahura Mazda will be very good at that. And we do, of course, need to construct some barracks. There we go. And then after that, we're going to be maxed out in our capital. Perfect. So our capital will be maxed. We still need a number of building constructions here. We can found a holy order. That's not happening right now. We still need a number of upgrades here as well. So both of these castles need a fair amount of work. We can sell trivial titles, and we definitely want to do so. How dare you shame me so? I don't really care, though. <laughs> okay. So we're going to head on over this way for the moment, and we're going to work on upgrading this temple to a level 2. And this city to a level 2 as well. I can see it's truly heartfelt. This city should also go to a level 2. There we go. We're currently making 126 gold per month. That's getting better. I like it. So this bailey needs to be finished up. And that will be done soon. So 10 days here. And we'll get that upgrading. Our friend died. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we do need some upgrades here, specifically a levying ground. Now, keep in mind, we're currently 65. This guy is our heir. He is Midas-touched. 
his spouse here is probably not going to be the best person for him, but we can change that later. So that'll be fine. We'd love all of these to get to level 2. We can extort our subjects, and that's definitely what we'll do. Don't worry, everybody will pay. Okay, so this castle's still constructing, as is this one. We'll come on over to our economic duchy and get this temple building, as well as this city. Although, I'd rather get farms and fields going right now. That's going to be a faster return on investment. I don't usually think about it in terms of ROI, but uh, it will be a faster ROI, so that'll be fine. We're at 125 gold per month right now, and we have a lot of constructions going on over here. Now, we do want to get this city upgrading. That'll take five years. So that's fine. Mobile camps have been constructed in our capital, which is now maxed out. Our ward can be ambitious. That's okay. I don't mind that. Excellent. So, we're looking for additional holdings to upgrade. This is a level two already, so we will go ahead and upgrade the monastic schools. This is a level two, so we'll put in farms and fields. 300 gold. Ugh. We'll roll it, but yeah, we spent the prestige. I'm not surprised about that. 100% on saving a fortune. Do it. Okay, so we saved a fortune. That's excellent. And we're going to grab Soon Forgiven. And we're, of course, going to upgrade the farms and fields here. Cool. So all of these are constructing. We'll come over to this temple, and we'll get the hunting grounds upgrading. The city will get Carpenter's Guilds. Successful business endeavors in Shirvan, huh? Do it. Hey, it worked. Excellent. Somebody learned Armenian. Good for them. And we'll build Carpenter's Guilds here as soon as we can, although we're a little short on cash for that. We can demand a couple of payments, and we will definitely do so. <laughs> One gold. Okay, hilarious. Another king coming in without bringing an offering of gold. Man, what are we going to do with these guys? Heads on pikes? I'm thinking heads on pikes. At least we got some additional taxes. That's nice. We'll get these hill farms going. We do have a royal court event here. Ah, I don't mind everyone knowing who I am. We saw this event... I think last episode, so no big deal there. We'll get our walls and towers finished up, which means that our last personally held castle is now maxed out. This barony still requires some upgrades here. At the moment, I'm actually more interested in getting the economic upgrades, though. So that'll be fine. This castle here, or rather this city here, we want to get this up to a large city. So as soon as we get a payment in, we can get that going. There we go. I don't want to found a holy order, that's for sure. Trivial titles and extortion will be available in a while. So that's going to be a while. Reusing metals, huh? And uh, the fine warhammer would be destroyed. But it was you who broke it. Okay, we'll do that. And then if we were to repair it this way... Yeah, this is half the cost to repair it. And that repairs it to full. Perfect. So that'll be just fine. Of course, we've got a number of cities over here that require investment. So we'll get some pastoral lands. And we'll get a carpenter's guild. This city is now maxed out. That's excellent. And over here, we of course need hunter's lodges. We need one gold for that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And continuing to work our way over this way, this temple would be the next one. We, of course, need to take that up to a level 2 temple. 162 gold for that. Okay. Well, I think it's very clear that next episode we can get all of our holdings maxed out. I think that's very, very clear. This guy will become our steward. Ahura Mazda will indeed judge these sinners. No doubt about that. And we're going to spend our gold on upgrading this temple. Perfect. Now, the morsel of St. David. Do we actually need to repair that? 
it's got 19 years. I'm not too concerned about that. We did just get royal prerogative as well as some additional taxes. What is being exposed next? Communal government? Or actually, Mangonels. We're doing communal government. Mangonels is next. I like it. That's actually pretty solid. So we have some cash here, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that all of these are constructing. Or as many as we can, anyway. So we'll do something along the lines of that. We've still got 400 gold here. And we can take positions of power or toe the line. We'll take toe the line for the moment. And the Armenian culture has the windmills innovation. Oh, it's a level 2 temple. This one's maxed out. Right. So this one needs hunting grounds. The city, of course, needs guilds. This city... Could use pastoral lands, and that will get that one maxed out. A prince, and he didn't bring gold. I'm very disappointed. 522 to upgrade that, and 357 to upgrade that. Okay, sounds good. So, this has been a very successful pass. No doubt about that. We'll get this temple upgrading as soon as we get a payment, which will be now. And this city will need to get upgrading as well very soon. It's 986. We're going to be able to sell trivial titles next year. So that is absolutely wonderful. We have a number of locations that aren't currently constructing. And that's unfortunate. But we are, for now, waiting to get this city upgrading. We need 111 gold for that. Well, we'll go ahead and hold court. Three are approaching. The air is thick with anticipation as my vassal, Mayor Nursa, approaches me. My lord, I come with grave news, but with a solution to fix this problem. It's becoming increasingly clear that the Scythians and Armenians are becoming more, perhaps even too, similar. It's paramount that we show them that it's us, Armenians, who are the forefront of innovation. Okay, we could do that. King Asparachis, my vassal, strides forward, clearly eager to hear my response to his petition. My liege, Armenian trade is stifled by a lack of currency. Let Orodunus Magus establish our own mints with royal approval for the good of Armenia. Do not stymie the potential prosperity of your subjects, and we may all grow rich together. I don't think we want that. Is it not enough to be a king? My vassal, Count Vagarshak, can barely contain his rage, erupting something must be done about that Scythian outsider. He gesticulates wildly. I've had it quite enough of Duke Pythodolos and his ridiculous customs. I mean, have you seen how those savages eat? It's time for your foreign subjects to adopt the mores of their betters. Our nobility must be Armenian. True. Okay. He refuses. Okay, sure. But our business here is done. And that is great. We'll go ahead and get this city upgrading as soon as we get three more gold. There we go. <laughs> three gold. Ridiculous. Okay, so this one is our next upgrade. We've also got this temple that we can definitely put a trade port in. We'll do that immediately. Remember, we just want to keep everything constructing as much as possible. We're trying to keep our gold spent down right now. So that's all very important. Pastures can go in here. We're down to 110.4 gold right now. I don't love it, but it'll be okay. We can bump up to absolute crown authority soon, but for now we're going to go to high crown authority. That brings up our monthly income a little bit, but not very much. So we'll bump that on up. And that's absolutely great. Our wife is encouraging chivalry, good for her. And we're going to upgrade this city once we get 12 more gold. So that'll be now. There we go. And we just need more upgrades. So we're going to sell some trivial titles. Hmm. Sure. I don't really care about that. So let's go ahead and upgrade our guilds here. With that gold that we just got from selling the minor titles. We're maxed out in this city. That's wonderful. We're going to boost up our trade port. And we need this to be a level 2 city here. So we're lacking 49 gold on that front. We're going to have basically everything level 2 very, very soon here. 
Level two, level two, level two. Anything that isn't constructing right now that is not level two. I believe that is not... I, I, I believe there's nothing that's level two, or that's level one anymore. I think it's all upgrading to two. So that's amazing. We're very, very happy about that. And we'll bump up our farms and fields here as soon as we get cash. There we go. We just got communal government, and we can, of course, get a new thing. So that'll help our development. What do we want next? Bailiffs? That won't really help us that much this life, but it will be very beneficial next life. It'll help us a little bit this life, I guess. There's a foul smell, and we will fix the problem. Hopefully. Eh, 300 gold. I don't like spending 300 gold on fixing the smelly court, but here we are. We're going to grab positions of power, and with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we are going to, I think, properly finish up our economy constructions at long last. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.